Welcome back to the Lowdown on Physics. This is screencast number two in the series on electric power, use unit four VCE physics. Today we'll be looking at forces on current carrying wires as they interact with uh, magnetic fields. So before we actually get into looking at the interaction between the electric current in the wire and the magnetic field, let's look at how we actually measure magnetic field strength. Now it's given the symbol B and the unit Tesla and sometimes you'll hear it called magnetic flux, flux density and this comes up a little bit more when we're looking at electric motors. Now the Tesla, the, the unit, is equivalent to Newtons per meter per ampere. So in the case of what we're looking at today, the current carrying wire, it's proportional to the amount of current that's flowing and it's inversely proportional to the distance that it is from the field. And just to give you an idea of the size of the unit, it's a f the, the Earth's magnetic field strength is around 5 times 10 to the negative 5 Teslas. That's just the natural magnetic field that exists. Okay, so let's talk about a wire that's placed in a magnetic field. Now, if there's a current flowing, it's in a magnetic field, it will experience a force. However, it's dependent on a couple of things. Firstly, it needs to be at right angles to the magnetic field. If it's not at right angles or if it's parallel to the magnetic field, there'll be no force. What the result will be is if you put these two things at right angles to each other, I'll show you in a diagram in a second, then the force will actually be perpendicular to both of those. So we're kind of getting uh, right angles in three dimensions as a result of this. Okay, so we have magnetic field going from left to right. We have the current, it's coming out of the page, indicated by the dot. And then the force that's acting there will actually be up. It will force the wire up. We'll do a prac on this um, this week. So, if we're going to measure that force, force is dependent on the amount of current flowing, the length of the wire that's in the field, and the strength of the magnetic field. So F equals ILB, I think that's how it appears on your data sheet, but I just prefer F equals BIL, F equals BIL. Um, then I don't have to think about it. Forces, you know, dependent on BIL. Okay. So how do we work out which direction the force is acting? And again, we've got you know, a nice, easy relatively easy hand rule. So like we had the right hand grip rule previously, we have the right hand palm rule. And this is what I call the FBI rule. Now, if your thumb points in the direction of current, your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, then your, your palm points in the direction of the force that it's acting. Remember this is conventional current and if you are right-handed make sure your pen is always down when you're doing this. You do this with your left hand you're going to give yourself the wrong direction. Okay, so do not do these with a pen in your hand. Make sure your pen always goes down. Get into that habit now. So, current, magnetic field, force. Sometimes I will point these fingers up to make the three right angles or the three, three dimensions all at right angles so that these couple of fingers will actually be pointing up in the direction of the force, kind of like a gun. Okay, so let's, let's look at an example. It's a little bit of an abstract example rather than it's just placed in the normal magnetic field. We've got a power line and it's running from east to west and there is a 100 ampere current flowing through this particular power line. So if we're going to calculate the force, uh, we've got Bill. So B is going to be 5 times 10 to the negative 5. I is 100. The length, well, I've just put that in as 1 because we're calculating it per meter. So we've got 5 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons, and that should say per meter, technically speaking. Now direction, we've got to think, think this through. Now north-south, the Earth's north pole must actually be a magnetic south pole because that's the direction that the north needle on a compass will point. So we've actually got field lines going that direction, 
so that's your B. We have from east to west, we have I. So if we put our hands there, we actually have our fingers pointing into the page or that gives us a direction that is down. Now what happens if our angle, uh, what happens if, if they're not exactly perpendicular? What happens if we have the wire, well if the wire was parallel, there'd be no force at all. What happens if it's on an angle though to the magnetic field? Then the force has to be less. It can't be, can't be as much as it would be if it was perpendicular. So we're going to look at vector components. So we take a vector component of the, the, the force that would be on it if it was perpen uh, per perpendicular. So we've got it on some angle to the magnetic field, which results in, by alt uh, alternate angles here, so we're after our vector component here and we get this is going to be sine of that angle so we get no force parallel which we mentioned what we get is I times the length times that component of the wire which is the same as B sine theta okay I don't think it appears with the sine theta on it in your data sheet so be sure to add that into your cheat sheet if uh, if you're not going to remember that so let's have a look at doing a quick calculation so we have an angle 70 degrees we have 5 amperes flowing flowing and it is a 2 millitesla magnetic field so F equals bill sine theta Substituting in, we've got 2 times 10 to the negative 3, that's for the milliteslas. We're multiplying it by the 5 amperes. We're not given a length, so I've just left that as L sine 70. This equals 9.397 newtons per meter. Okay, and So we could adjust that accordingly, depending on what length of wire we actually had flowing there. Now for the direction, we've got fingers pointing here, we've got the thumb pointing up, so the direction, the palm would be pointing into the screen or in, so therefore we're saying it's into the page.